Welcome back in this morning's Showbiz Report, the cast of Uncle Frank, the family drama about coming out and finding happiness. Take a look at my interviews with the legendary Lois Smith, Judy Greer, Peter McDissey, and Sophia Lillis. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you don't tell anyone in the family about me. You want to stay by yourself in a motel? Uncle Frank is staying there too. So is Wally. Who's Wally? Now, let's begin with you, Miss Lois. It's such an honor talking to you. What got you interested in joining the cast of Uncle Frank as Aunt Butch? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Aunt Alan Ball asked me. That's what happened. And I had worked with him before, so it's easy to say, oh, yes. Yeah, like Lois said, he kept saying, like, oh, and this person's doing it. Oh, and this person said they would do it. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, just Alan would have been enough. But then you have this cast that is so incredible. How do you know Uncle Frank? He's my roommate. Wally and I lived together. We have for 10 years. I know he was writing a movie about Uncle Frank, and I know it was about uh, the, the South and uh, this, uh, this, this Southern family, and I didn't know anything else until I was presented with a script and I read it. And I was so emotionally moved. I read about eight times to figure it out and to, you know, um, and then it was, I was bawling all the time. I cried the whole time because it was simply very, very emotional and very heartfelt and very empathetic. You need me for this. You know you do. No, Wally, you're not coming. We can take turns driving. Are you the stupidest man alive? Obviously, look who I'm with. She is a smart person who can do something with her life, and she wants to be exactly like Uncle Frank. And then she goes off and uh, goes to NYU, and she gets to learn more things about him and gets to see him fully as who he is instead of just this one side that he shows when he comes home. Do you always know you were gay? I always knew I was different. There's still people who can't be honest with their families about what their lifestyle choices are, and that is heartbreaking. And it's always so important to show them that there is a community of people out there for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, There's so many people who can't be relaxed because they're attacked mm -hmm. and treated badly. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe a film like this can help break up that ice jam a little bit. Fingers crossed on that. And once again, a big, big, big congrats on Uncle Frank. It's a charming road trip movie about families, secrets, and finding happiness. Oh, mm. thanks, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Uncle Frank begins streaming on Amazon Prime Video this Wednesday, November 25th. Manny, great story about being inclusive. And I know Joe saw it. He said it was fantastic. I haven't gotten to see it yet, but. You know, and what's amazing in, we were talking as it was playing, is how, uh, how families can treat other members of their own family in such a wrong way. Right, like it has to be a big secret and people can't be themselves. Well, especially in the setting of this movie in the 1970s in the South, you know, uh, it's a conservative family. But there are some family members of Uncle Frank, uh, like what uh, Paul Bettany said earlier, that uh, that that are very inclusive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and 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 so their warmth and generosity comes out, and I think kind of uh, overshadows those who aren't so in in. Lightened, I guess. <laughs> That's right, and therein lies the heart of the film. So yeah. don't forget to watch it. This is what I'm gonna say. I love the movie. All right, it's... and you're coming back in our next hour, right? I am, and we'll talk about the nest. Um, this one stars Jude Law and Carrie Coon, and I interviewed Miss Carrie Coon for this. They just got nominated for Gotham Awards, so this is a fantastic film as well. Oh, okay. All right, two two good ones. Yep. Well, Four that's kisses. Good. That's unheard of. <laughs> Find out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Manny. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. We're coming up on 